Welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what have you got for us this week? This week, Rory, we're going to talk about creating templates from scratch. Okay, so you mean Code Rush templates, those, those wonderful pieces of functionality that just take a few characters and expand to a huge block of incredible code that is just reusable again and again and again. You make it sound so sexy, Rory. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's, it's, it's that good. I mean, let's not underplay things here. All right, so I'm going to take this block of code right here. And I'm going to yeah. copy this to the clipboard. I actually want to get rid of the leading space before I copy it. So I'm just going to unindent it, copy it, undo my unindenting. Uh, so we so we work with that. We're going to work with this block of code here. So that's okay. copied to the clipboard. Then I'm going to go into the code templates. And I'm going to go into my own custom folder that I created here. If you don't have one of these, you can click on new category. Uh, say my custom templates <laughs> like this. For yep. example, click here, check here to make this a top level folder. Sure. And then you can select that and now click this button to create a new template. Um, this new template is, uh, I'm gonna call it a, uh, uh, an NDA for new double animation. Okay, yep. so when I type in NDA and I, I hit the uh, space bar or the tab key to expand, it's going to uh, generate this code. Now, sure. if I do nothing at this point, I just simply click OK like this, and we get rid of this, and we type in NDA. OK, not bad, yep. right? It gives it to us fast and easy. It's a character-driven snippets, and it was a hell of a lot quicker to create than usual snippets are. Right, exactly. Um, but what if I, like, for example, were to be in another method, and uh, this had a different uh, name on it, like uh, from time, uh, get double animation too, and this would be like the uh, from time, uh, or, or or I'm sorry, from position, like this, and yep. the to position, and uh, the uh, total time, like this. Well, well, that's definitely a little more annoying because when you expand the template, you're going to get three things that don't match. It'd be really nice if we could, I mean, because we're going to have to arrow up, go to the start of them, and start tweaking those three different bits, right? Exactly. So so let's improve our template. So to do that, we'll go back into the code templates page. And we want to fix this a bit. And the way we fix this is we turn the word time into a field. So I'm going to cut that okay. to the clipboard. I'm going to check this box to insert a field. And uh, I'm going to add some parens here. And I'm going to paste that in like that, OK? okay? And I'm going to do the same thing. This time it's down for these others as well. I'm going to paste this here, paste this here, take the text, put it inside the parens for both of those. Whoops. I wanted to get to just to there. Okay. Like this. So you're kind of providing some default text there for those fields? Exactly. This is default okay. text, but the fields, let me show you what they do. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to come down in here. We're going to type in NDA again for a new double animation. And now check it out, we've got fields in these three yeah. different places. So if I wanted to change this to say like, for example, total uh, time like that, I could do it and watch what happens when I hit enter on a field. It selects and takes uh, me to, to the next yeah, field. That's good. Right? So now I can say from uh, position like that, hit enter, and then come over here and say to position, use, it, use IntelliSense to bring it up and hit enter. So you've eliminated most of the arrowing around because obviously now you go from field to field to field, but you had to go back to that. You had to sort of set yourself up on the first field uh, at the start there. Is there any way we can maybe make that a little smoother? Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. So let's go back in to the code templates and we're going to make it a little smoother. Um, the caret ended up at the very end because we didn't tell it where we wanted the caret. So if you don't tell, okay. tell CodeRush where you want the caret to be, which you can do with this button right here, it'll by default put it at the end. So let's instead put it over here on the side of the field. So we're going to do that. We'll just put the caret right there. We're going to click OK. And now we're going to type in NDA again. And now we're not bad, but we're at the beginning of the field. And what I'd really like to do is select that whole field so I can replace yeah. it right with something else. OK, so let's sure. go back in. So we're getting closer, right? The caret's in the so right this spot. This is good. We're iterating on the template, each one more powerful than before. It's exciting, isn't it? So what we're going to do is. is this. <laughs> On the other side of the field, right here, before the paren, we're going to click this button here to add a block anchor. A block anchor is the opposite of, on the opposite end of a selection. So the caret's on the blinking end of the selection, and the block anchor's mm -hmm. on the other side. 
I always, you'll, you'll see this in all the templates. All our templates, we have the carrot, whenever we use a block anchor, the block anchor's on the right and the carrot's on the left. And I'll show you why. The reason for that, let's expand it again. So come in here and we'll type in NDA like this. The reason for that is, is see your eyes are right here on that blinking carrot. If your eyes were at the end over here and you hit anything to replace it, it would change and you'd have to move your eyes over there to the other side. So the right. blinking carrot on the left like this is what solves that problem, right? It gets your eyes yeah. at the beginning of it. And so your eyes don't have to move. It's incredibly small detail, but it, it reduces cognitive load as you work. Sure, sure. That's good. Okay. So so we replace or, or we augment that piece now. We're already in position one. We hit enter. We move on to the second, enter onto the third. What happens when you hit enter on that last item? Last item, we go to Where the very from there. We go to the very end, like right over here. Okay, cool. Now, if you wanted to go someplace different, you could. I'm sorry, it sounded like you had a question though. Well, no, effectively, that is where I was wondering, because obviously with this code, it's not too bad because you're just going to enter one more time and you'll be into maybe the next piece of code. But, but what happens if you'd made a template for, I don't know, a block of code? So you've got some braces in place and you'd like to sort of finish up and, you know, augment that code right. somewhere other than the end. You know what? Let's do this, actually. Let's stick with this template, but let's answer your question with the template. Let's say that okay. after we're done with the last one, we want to put the carrot up on double animation. Maybe they want to cut it to the clipboard or rename it or whatever mm -hmm. reason, but we're going to put the carrot right there at the end. So let's go in and I'll show you how to do that. Go into the code templates again. And we're going to put the carrot right there where we want it to be. And we're going to click this button here, insert a final target command. So final target is where you go to when the last field is accepted. That's where we're going Makes to go. Sense. So we'll click OK, okay. on this down here. We're going to uh, remove this. And we're going to type in NDA again. And we're going to hit enter, enter, enter. And now we're right up there on double animation, ready to do Good what we want stuff. to do. You know what I want to do though, Roy? Notice if I make a change here, it doesn't change uh, the other pieces down here. Right, yeah. Let me show you how to fix yeah. that too. Let's go back inside. We're going to go inside the code templates up here. We're going to uh, take double animation. I just want to grab this text right here, cut it to the clipboard. I'm going to click this button right here for a link command and we're going okay. to open and close paren and paste inside and then I'm going to copy that to the clipboard again right there and then uh -huh. everywhere that that appears in the code I'm going to paste in link and this is going to create a link between all of these and I'm going to click OK come down come right here and we're going to say NDA again Enter, 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 and now I'm linked up, which means if I want to say something like DBL animation, they all change very across nice. the board. So this is this is very like the rename functionality we have. So when, when you use that to rename an item, uh, obviously it goes and finds all the equivalent items. And when the ones that are on screen, you certainly see uh, the same kind of animation in place showing you all the places where it's editing. So now you can build a template where fixed parts of it are linked together. And it doesn't just have to be whole phrases like that. Uh, you could have um, partial phrases. So if, you, if you're going to expand, I think we've seen this before with a property template. So you're going to have a name of a property, but you've also got a field internal to that that it's reading from, a private field. Right. And so the private field might be underscore my variable, whereas the property is my variable. And the two can be linked together just as easily. Yes. So it's pretty cool um, what you can do. Uh, this is That's very nice. just a tip of the iceberg in terms of, uh, actually, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't say iceberg since it has a negative connotation, but it's, <laughs> it is it is uh, just a small dip into what... This is that, it's that small glint of gold in the wall. There's a huge vein of it behind it. Exactly. There's a vein of gold behind the wall. Um, that's what we're measuring in these days. So, uh, so but I think we're going to leave it at that and we'll have more advanced template feature of the week videos uh, in the future. Great stuff, Mark. Thank you very much. That just gives us a little little view into the window of all the possibilities that are there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. There's lots of little tips in there. Thank you very much, Mark. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.